We begin with a developing story. An explosion on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico has the families of nearly a dozen people clinging to hope tonight. Here's what we know at this hour. There were 126 people on board the Deep Horizon rig when the explosion happened. The Coast Guard has already rescued 17 people injured in the blast, three of them critically. But crews continue to search for another 11 people still missing. At this point, we don't know what caused this rig to catch fire, but tonight we are hearing from a local attorney who says this is not the first incident for the company which owns and operates it. 39's Katisha Cosley joins us now with that part of the story. Katisha? Well, Mia, over the past five years, the attorney who specializes in maritime law says he's had about 10 cases just against Transocean. In fact, he says he's involved with one right now. He says you'd be surprised at how good these companies are cutting corners when it comes to safety. You can see right here, I mean, this is right as it started. Right here in front of his computer is where Kurt Arnold has spent much of his day. That you can see there, the, that's the derrick. Looking at pictures of the rig explosion aftermath sent by first responders in Louisiana. I have lots of friends that actually work for Transocean that live in these towns. And so first thing I do is get on the phone and say, hey, Mayor, you, you know, uh, have you heard? Are you okay? Thankfully, all his friends are safe, but 11 are still missing. These guys were 28 days on at a time, and then they go home for 14 days. And so a lot of them live in small towns. When an accident like this happens, a lot of times it affects you know, the entire town. Since Transocean is based here in Houston, Arnold has represented a lot of injured employees, from bumps and bruises to situations as serious as this. The problem is with a lot of fuel exploding and things like that, the water turns to fire. Arnold says there's been an increase in incidents in the Gulf and a lot go unreported. He says OSHA regulations don't apply to offshore drilling. It's typically regulated by the Coast Guard. And while Transocean's website says it recorded its best safety record last year, Arnold says a lot of the information is misleading. Sometimes people cut corners and um, you know, uh, I, I see that a lot in cases. Uh, I've had cases in the past, specific to Transocean, where they go to the hospital and then they might take him back the rig so they can say he returned to work, but then he might be off work for two years after that. He adds medical bills also go unpaid with the company refusing treatment by the employee's personal physician. But tonight, it's not the cases on his mind, but the family's still waiting for word. My prayers are with him. And we tried several times tonight to reach Transocean, but none of our calls or emails were returned. The U.S. Chemical Safety Board is now considering investigating the incident. Meanwhile, the Coast Guard is prepared to search throughout the night. Katisha Cosley, 39 News.